Merry Christmas, everyone. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> you know, if there yeah, were, right, was right. an image of bells going off as we hear the different voices, it would be like a bell choir. It's wonderful. <laughs> Just wonderful. It is so good to be together. I was thinking earlier tonight about how as a child there was this sense of magic to Christmas Eve that the wonder and the anticipation and and it wasn't just all about the presence there was that sense at least for me and oftentimes my sisters the sense of, of just anticipation of something sacred and holy and and this was a night unlike other nights. And as I gathered with the kids earlier um, this afternoon, I thought, Zoom is magic. <laughs> Zoom brought all those little faces together and it was such joy to see them and hear them and uh, see how they'd grown. And it was just fabulous. So maybe, Maybe Zoom is the adult version of the magic of Christmas Eve, that we get to see each other's faces and voices and, and get to do that week in and week out, but especially tonight, because it would be a very sad thing if we could not see one another tonight. So thank you for being here. Thank you for your, your face and your voice and your presence and for being community together on this Christmas Eve. I want to just say a very special word of warm welcome to anyone who might be with us for the first time this evening. We are glad that you are here. And for the most part, just so you know the lay of the land, the most part, our voices will be muted. That's so that we can hear the music that has been so meticulously put together for our worship time. We can hear it so much better when all of the other background noises are silenced. But that doesn't in any way, um, is not intended in any way to discourage your participation. So please, when it's time for shared dialogue and prayers and singing um, that uh, is a response, please feel free to press your space bar and participate fully. I also want to just remind you if you have a candle handy, we'll need it later in the service. If you have your advent wreath handy, we'll be lighting those, including the candle in the very middle, the Christ candle tonight. So if you have those, or if they're not handy, now is a great time to go grab them. Um, same with the bread and wine or juice for later communion. If you haven't already had a chance to pull that together, uh, now would be a good time to just grab it and, and make it handy for you for the rest of our worship time together. Let's take a moment and just drink in the wonder and the goodness of being together in the name of Christ.
Let us pray. Prince of Peace, we gather tonight safe and warm in our homes, yet we are here to hear the story of what happened outside where life was neither. We are gathered to remember when the holy and earthly danced together under the stars. You appeared to shepherds working in the night and became one of us creating wonder and beauty beyond our imaginations. Speak, Speak to, our to our hearts, O oh God, God, as, as, as if we were gathering, gathering on, on the hillside, hillside with the shepherds, shepherds angel, looking up at, at the angel, the angel choir. choir. Face of God, while we sit in our chairs with distance between us, we long for deep connections, deep peace, deep wisdom, and we carry deep hope for the world. Weave we unity, unity into our hearts, our hearts God. God. Oh, God. Help, Help us, us to experience that we are we are family, family with Mary and Joseph, Mary and Joseph. And Joseph. All your, all all your people, people knit, knit and our together, together, together as many of them together, 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 all people, all people beside the main, the main church. church. So much easier to ask us. Emmanuel, your name is our gift. You came to us when we were hurting, broken, despairing. Even now, corruption, poverty, disease, and hatred continue to tear our world apart. Still, you came to us. You are our hope and our most treasured gift. We open, we our, open our hearts, hearts now. Pause yeah. and close. Let your love permeate our lives your world. Please go ahead and light all of the candles on your Advent wreath if you have one, or light a candle if you have that available to you. They signify the light of Christ coming into the world and that moment when the angels are singing the good news of Jesus' birth, the light come into the world, all the candles are lit in celebration. Together we sing. grace of our Lord Jesus, the Christ child, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and also, also with, with you. you. We sing our opening hymn.
Isaiah chapter 9. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us, authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Word of God, word of life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. To God. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. The Gospel, the Good News. According to Luke, the second chapter. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. O Lord. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. For see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom God favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. 
But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. This is the good news of great joy for all the people. Praise, Praise you, you, O Christ. Christ. Would you pray with me, please? Gracious God, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of each one of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. For you are our strength and our redeemer. Amen. So I was driving along about a week ago and I was thinking about all the ways people have been wrestling with life this year. And I had started to take a drink from my Snapple iced tea when the wisdom from the lid struck. It had read, in the concert of life, no one gets a program. It made me laugh out loud, especially after the year that we've all experienced and could never have imagined. It also made me think about the fact that there is absolutely nothing new about that tidbit of wisdom. No one in any generation for all time has ever gotten a program, a bulletin, advanced warning about how their year was going to be. No one has had a program for the cacophony that life has become this year. We haven't had any way to know what to expect, but we put one foot in front of the other nevertheless. Nothing we did expect actually materialized in the way we imagined it would, but we have shifted and pivoted and adjusted and readjusted and prayed and leaned on each other and then adjusted some more. And the shifts have continued. Shifts in thinking about how we think about life and what we do with our time, about family life and friendships, about what really constitutes being together and caring for one another. All of our expectations about the standard, how we do standard events and turning points in our lives, they're all still being rewritten. And the driving force for all of these shifts is something bigger than any one of us. These aren't decisions we made individually. They are decisions that have been driven and shaped by the larger political and virus-driven landscape of this moment in history. And as I drove, I kept hearing over and over again on the radio, people saying, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. And I thought about how easy it might be for some people to want to just pass on Christmas this year. How easy it could be to feel that without the usual gatherings and events and traditions and all the things that we normally put into practice that constitutes doing Christmas for us. Well, if that word Mary just didn't seem to fit anymore for some people, if it seemed maybe at best a little tone deaf and at worst, maybe even pouring salt in the wound. But the more I pondered, the more I began to wonder to myself, if in the amazing wisdom of God and God's reversals in the world, if maybe this Christmas, 
might in fact be one of the very best Christmases ever for experiencing the real joy of what God is doing at Christmas. Now, you could feel differently, but I think that so often, at least in my life and my experience, so often what God is doing at Christmas can get buried in what we are doing for Christmas. Are you with me on that? This year, unlike every other year though, the heart of the story is exposed in some very real ways. And with fewer distractions, it just naturally kind of takes the varnish off the story that we're so used to telling in the ways that we're used to telling it. And it separates the cartoonish kind of qualities that we see in the marketing of Christmas from the real human tones of the story. And when you think about it, everything I've said so far about this year could be words that we might have heard come out of the mouths of Mary and Joseph. Certainly there was no program for how the music of their relationship would unfold. Still, they put one foot in front of the other, literally. Nothing they expected came to pass. Instead, they listened, considered, adjusted, readjusted, prayed, pivoted, thought on their feet, and then adjusted some more. Think about it, traveling by foot at the end of an unexpected pregnancy. Okay, there's an adjustment. Find support in one another, even when the trust and the differing perspectives on what was unfolding between them was completely unrecognizable. Okay, there's an adjustment. And the shifts continued for them for years. There was fear of persecution, corrupt government policies, finding refuge across the border in a different country, no economic or emotional stability. Their lives too were dictated by the larger political and social landscape of their moment in history. So this year, it seems like our story is so much closer to their story, to God's story, than it usually is. And in many ways, I think that that might make it even easier for us to get closer to the heart of what God is doing in the world tonight. A more straightforward path to the heart of the joy. The irony is that the joy for Mary and Joseph would certainly have been dampened by the circumstances of their moment in history, as has ours. But the real joy of Christmas isn't in making pageantry out of the details that Mary and Joseph would have considered brutal. It's found in getting closer to the heart of God, to the God that is revealed to us in Jesus. The real joy of Christmas is about being loved by the God of the universe, having that God of all time and all place and all people coming to be with humanity, coming to love us, coming to be one of us in order to love us in person. God just pouring God's self out to be close to us. The joy is in 
found in how important it is to God to be close to us, to hold our hands in the darkness and our hearts, no matter what the circumstance might be, to be to us Emmanuel. Take a moment and think about those who love you dearly, the people who know you, warts and all. Think about how it feels to be loved unconditionally. Think about how it feels when you know that you are so loved that nothing you could ever do would interfere with that love. God loves you like that times a gazillion. The God of every universe became a human infant, the epitome of powerlessness, but also the epitome of exquisite, intimate, tender love to draw us all close so that we would know that love so that we could learn to treat each other with that love, to make sure that every day in any circumstance, we know that God is right here with us. We're never abandoned, we're never left, we're never forgotten, we're never alone, we're never far from the amazing love that made a star shine extraordinarily. Never far from the wonder that the angels evoked. That we're never far from the holy and eternal safety that we so long for in the face of every fear and every danger. God, Emmanuel, is enough for this moment in history. God with us is extravagant abundance, enough to carry us and transform us no matter what is going on around us or within us. As I drove home that day, I heard a song by a man named Jason Gray. Maybe you've heard some of his music it's entitled, Remind Me You're Here. And part of the lyrics say, get me out of my mind and into your heart, arms, where hope comes alive and fear falls apart. I won't ask you for reasons, because a reason can't wipe away tears. No, I don't need to know all the answers. Just be here beside me. Come be here beside me. Remind me you're here. Christmas, thank goodness, comes to remind us that God is here. We don't need the answers to all the questions. We don't even need a program. We just need Emmanuel. We need to know in our hearts and in our minds that no matter what swirls around us in the world, God is with us. That God is holding us and leading us, guiding us, wiping away our tears and helping us make space within our hearts and our spirits for the joy of being loved all encompassing. We have everything we really need this Christmas. Perhaps, maybe, we can hear that and feel that and see that more powerfully this year as the essentials of life are in more full relief. As we put one foot in front of the other together in new ways. My prayer for you and for our world today 
is that the best gift you open this Christmas will be whatever it is that will remind you every single day that God loves you powerfully and is with you every step of the way. May you have that gift and hold it close to your hearts. Amen. Joining our voices with the song of the angels, let us pray for the church, the world, and all who are in need. The shepherds sing, Jesus Christ is born. Let your church throughout the world proclaim this good news over the hills and everywhere. Unite the voices of all your faithful people in songs of praise and rejoicing. Hear us, O oh God. Your, Your mercy, mercy is great. Is great. Oh, Heaven and nature sing joy to the world. Give respite to flocks, fields, and those who tend them. Come near to us in the beauty of nighttime, the shining of the stars, and the hush of a world at rest. May our wonder at your creation rouse our care for all the earth. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy, mercy is great. The angels sing peace on earth. Come quickly to still the strife of this world. Hush the noise of war and violence in all places of unrest. Inspire leaders of nations to seek lasting peace and sustainable provision for all in their care. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy, Your mercy is, is great. great. 
Mary sings melodies of comfort to her newborn child. Bring rest and reassurance to those facing struggles this night. Shelter travelers and those without homes. Console those who lie awake due to pain or anxiety. Heal those who are sick or hurting, especially all dealing with the COVID-19 virus. And we pray especially for Jen and Paul Bunnell, Dr. Kanita Berryhill, Melinda Kay, Linda Sands, and their families, and all who serve behind the scenes in caring for the sick and injured. We pray for Christy and John Magnuson's daughter and son-in-law, Kirsten and Shane, as they deal with the impact of COVID-19 on their jobs. For those fighting COVID-19, we pray, especially for Jill Briggs, Guide all World Health Organizations and governmental officials in the distribution of the vaccines and calm the fears of those who are reluctant to receive the vaccine. Bring pregnant women to successful births and bring healing to baby Isaac's head shunt and to young Tristan Collins fighting cancer. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy, Your mercy, mercy is great. Is great. Love sings to the sound of a new baby's cry. Bless new parents and expectant parents. Comfort those who long for children, especially those running out of hope or options. Surround families of every shape and size with your love and care. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy, your mercy is great. great. O oh God, our Savior, dwell within us. Make us your home and receive the prayers of our hearts. We pray for the healing and recovery of Ethel Swanson's nephew, David Russ, who has been battling two kinds of cancers for over two years. Reverse the increase in the spread of the cancer, we pray. And we continue to pray for a complete healing for Marianne Hausner, for Jerry Motshagen, and for Jackie Cullum. We pray for continued healing for Carrie Leanhart and thank you for the healing provided to Don Schneider and son Eric, as well as Joyce Leister and family. We continue to pray for healing for Larry and Sue Ivanjack, for their friends Jeff and Sue Goddard and their friend Kurt Kraschauer and family. We seek your wisdom and healing for Rosemary Capodici and Carol Kane. We pray your protection for Zachariah Rollins and all who serve in the military and other dangerous professions. We pray that you would make a way for approval for the special juvenile immigrant status for Karen. Restore and renew their lives and the lives of all who have found safety in the US and are seeking asylum. We thank you for continued healing for Susie Surveyan we thank you for the improvement of Joy Wenzel's friend, John Elkin, and for your sustaining grace for Edie, Connie, Marge and Bob Hood, and for Margaret and Roy. Be with Cindy as she grieves the death of her husband last week and her adult son earlier this year. Sustain her with your grace. And we name before you now others for whom we pray. For Ryan and Chelsea. For Bob and Judy Grossman. Hear us, O oh God. Your, Your mercy, mercy is, is great. great. The heavenly chorus sings, glory to God in the highest. We give you thanks for all the saints who have proclaimed your glory in word and deed, lighting the path of life for us all. Let us join them this night in joyful praise around your eternal throne. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy, your mercy is great. great. God of mercy, come quickly to us with grace upon grace as we lift these and all our prayers to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 The peace of the Christ child be with you always. And also, and also with, you. with you. Thank you for that peace. Thank you for the peace that we share with one another. Thank you for the ways that you have shared 
all your love and care throughout the year with the congregation. We just thank you for all the ways that you have been a blessing to one another and to the world um, through St. Luke. Let us pray. God with us, you came as a baby to a manger. You slept on straw and greeted shepherds. You come again in bread and wine. Remind us how good you are at blessing ordinary things, even this world that you love. Through these gifts, help us to bless the lives of others in the strength of your holy name. Amen. 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 We share together in this meal. Please ignore that phrase. Please stand as you're able because I'm not sure how that got in there. Unless you want to stand, feel free to do that. But as we gather now for this time of great thanksgiving, I just want to invite you, take a moment and collect what you need, but also to collect your thoughts and take a look at the images that you can see on the screen and multiply that in your mind because every box and every square with every face, every household, every family throughout the entire world shares in this meal with us tonight. The Lord be with you. And, and also with, with you. you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Lord. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right, right to give our right, thanks, thanks and, praise. and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, gracious God, through our Savior Jesus, the Christ child. In Jesus, we glimpse your face and your undying love, which has overcome even death. Tonight, we sing with choirs of angels and with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven as we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, 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 holy one, one, God, God all, all that, that is, is. Heaven and, and earth, earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna in the highest place heaven. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And again, after the supper, he took the cup, again gave thanks to God for it. He gave it to each one saying, take and drink. This is the cup of the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. We sing joy to the world. The Lord is come. Let er every heart receive your Savior. Together we take our bread and we share with one another the privilege of communing each other. The body of Christ given for you. The body of the body Christ, of Christ, Christ given, given, given for you. you. The cup of salvation given for you. The cup of salvation. Let us pray. God of wonder, in Jesus we behold the light of the world come near. As you have come among us now, send us out in joy, hastening to share the good news of your love. We ask this in the name of the Christ child, through your spirit which dwells among us now and forever. Amen. 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 We share together in the Lord's Prayer. Please feel free to unmute yourselves for that. Our Father, your Father in heaven, heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be your name. name. Your, your kingdom come, come your, your will be done, done on, on earth, earth as in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us, us today our daily bread. bread. Forgive, Forgive us our sins, our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. us. Save, us, Save us, us from the time of trial, and, and deliver, us deliver us from evil. evil. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom our and, our and the glory are yours, are yours now and forever. forever. Amen. Amen. If you have a candle available, please light or turn on your candle as we sing together Silent Night.
Receive the blessing. God, the creator who delights in you, Jesus, the savior who is born for you, and the life-giving spirit who shines on you, bless you and keep you in hope and peace. Amen. 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 We sing joy to the world. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the earth, the Savior reigns. Songs and more, while fields and floods, rocks, hills and plains, repeat the sound we do. gift of Jesus. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Emmanuel, 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 God with God us. us. Now, while the service is over, we have a few more hymns, uh, carols to sing. If you are up for that and you want to keep on singing, please feel free to stay with us and sing a few more Christmas carols. If not, Merry Christmas and rest well. Merry Christmas. Good Christian friends, rejoice with heart and soul and voice. Give ye heed to what we say. Jesus Christ is born today. Ox and ass before him bow. He is in the manger now. Christ is born today. Christ is born today. Good Christian friends, rejoice with heart and soul and full voice. Now ye hear of endless bliss. Jesus Christ was born for this. He has opened heaven's door, and we are blessed forever. Christ was born for this, Christ was born for this. Good Christian friends, rejoice with heart and soul and full voice. Now he need not fear the grave, Jesus Christ was born to save. Calls you one and calls you all to gain the everlasting hall. Christ was born to save. Christ was born to sing. Angels, we have the word of life, sweetly sing. 
Merry Christmas. 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 Merry